Hey, how's it going guys? Just uh, thought I would share with you a project I've been working on. This is my Master Chief or your Halo uh, Mark VI helmet and this was 3D printed on my Ender 3s. Uh, so I've got an Ender 3 and an Ender 3 Pro and um, yeah, over last week I went ahead and, and printed out all the parts and glued it together. So it's just currently put together with some super glue and if you look inside you can see where all the joining marks are. Uh, I've sanded the outside of it and primed it uh, several times now and it needs another coat of primer currently so you can see some of these sort of high spots that I've sanded down. Um, it's taken a very long time so I think it was uh, 200 hours to print and then I probably put at least 35 hours of sanding into this and, and even with that there's still areas that I've you know, probably going to have to go back and, and do again um, until I actually prime this again though it's, it's obviously going to look a little bit rough around the edges I'm just going to set that down a second um, and I've drilled these holes out here to put in some LEDs so that the mask will actually light up and then I just need to get a, uh, a visor which with the visor there's a few ways you can do it one way is to buy a couple of motorcycle helmets and um, then you can sort of cut them to shape and if you buy two helmet visors you can cut out uh, some parts to put on top of the visor to give it that sort of 3D look like the actual Master Chief helmet has. Um, for me that looked, it didn't look that great and it was going to cost around 60 quid to do that anyway so I thought that I would just go on Etsy and look for someone who actually makes uh, vacuum formed visors and um, yeah so I found one on there unfortunately they were in America so shipping was expensive and uh, yeah, the visor was quite expensive as well but I think it's gonna be worth it and um, yeah I'm just waiting for that to arrive in terms of paint I'm just using a uh, spray putty uh, I think it's called uh, I don't have it on hand here at the moment, but it's uh, it's that sort of putty primer, and um, it seemed to be pretty good, pretty cheap, so happy with that. Uh, and then my plan is to then spray the whole thing black, um, and then I'll mask out all these sort of areas, like this will be black, these bits in here will be black, so I'll put some painter's tape on there and, and uh, mask it, and then I'm going to um, spray the whole thing almost like a, a sort of aluminum metal color or aluminium however you want to say it um, metal color or chrome maybe uh, and then my plan is to take some liquid mask and sort of like paint on some of these edges here so that when I put my final color on I'll be able to peel those bits off and sort of show underneath um, you know like a metal color where it's maybe been scratched off and you know give it some weathering um, either that or do some dry brushing um, I'm going to sort of do some experiments and, and see what works and I've been kind of going back and forth about what colors I should paint this should I just go full-on Master Chief helmet you know do the, the whole green scheme or should I do my multiplayer helmet and um, let me just show you I've actually got a Master Chief helmet here which is like a kind of like a toy one it's very sort of thin plastic but it's uh, you know it's wearable it's got this kind of bogus um, visor which I'm not a big fan of but because I have that I'm thinking maybe it would look good if I did this red um, which is my primary color whenever I play Halo so I think that's what I'm gonna do I've, I've ordered some red paint I'm gonna test it out on some test prints and just see how it comes across um, but yeah really excited about this it's taken a long time a lot of hard work uh, but the details great on this print um, and it fits my head which I was kind of concerned about as I was printing it, it looked like it was going to be either too big and then at one point it looked like it was going to be too small but you know once I've tucked my ears, ears back it uh, it does fit on my head so yeah happy with that. So uh, yeah I guess uh, that's probably it for now. Oh one, one more thing is as well uh, because this is only kind of glued together at the moment and this is a little bit of wood filler um, which I didn't, I don't think I mentioned that but there's a lot of wood filler fill wood filler all over this just filling in any gaps which it'll be covered up once I prime it but I've also got some 
two part epoxy and fiberglass sheets to uh, put in here and just give it some more strength on, on the seams um, so that should work out and then obviously I'll, I'll add some foam later but I think that's it for now guys and I'll, uh, I'll try to document the rest of this build as I go and um, yeah I hope it turns out good and I'll catch you guys next time peace